So, looking towards Apple's budget range new iPad, the 11th gen iPad could in fact be cancelled for 2023. Today I want to share a report of why this might be the case and why you may have to wait a little longer to get a hands on it. Today I want to go over all the details on this and also go over specs and also take the latest on the iPad 2023 release date and price. So, back in 2022, we had the surprise of the iPad 10th generation looking almost identical to the iPad Air that came out in 2020 with the same chip, but this new iPad having a slower USB-C port, and also it's the first iPad to have center stage camera on the landscape side instead of the portrait. We also did see a price increase on the basic iPad of over 130 US dollars in the US alone and in other countries even more. Sadly, the iPad did not have the best reviews due to this price increase and most importantly, no ability for Apple Pencil second generation, but on the first generation Pencil, you could use it, but you had to buy an extra adapter that was sold out on the iPad's launch. However, going forward, we're hoping that Apple are going to do some improved changes to the iPad 11th generation. So for all new iPad videos like this one you're watching going forward, I'm going to give you the latest details on specific leaks, then details of the planned release date time, then a summary of the models that are going to be released with all the features that we've learned in previous leaks. After this, I'm going to give you my wish list for the next iPad and also put down in the comments of what features you'd love to see in the 11th generation iPad 2, and I might discuss my thoughts around it in a future video. So, for the last 5-6 to six years now, Apple have refreshed their budget iPad every 12-15 to 15 months, and this year could be the first year where Apple don't actually update the iPad. A new report has come in from Mark Gurman who has told us that there is nothing in concrete at the moment that is showing us that Apple are going to do any updates to the budget iPad in 2023. German has told us already that this year it will be a lighter year for iPads or no new iPads at all seen throughout the whole of this year. This would break tradition as I mentioned already that Apple tend to update their iPads almost every year or so. If the iPad does not get updated at the end of 2023, it's still possible that we could see a refresh model in the early part of 2024, and most likely in that iPad, we'll just see an A15 chipset, and also the ability at last that Apple correct the problem in giving us support to use the second generation Apple Pencil. So, for release date next, it's still early days to know the exact date. However, for the iPad 11th generation, if the normal rules of upgrades are applied, then this iPad should get an upgrade in the fall of 2023, so anytime in September or October, like our Apple has done for its iPad for the last, say, four to five years. However, as I've said before, we have had a report in from Mark Gurman claiming that in 2023 that no new iPads are coming, but there again, it is still possible for Apple to update their budget iPad with the A15 chipset inside it at an event in September or October in 2023. If this does not happen, then the next logical time will probably be a press release right at the end of the year or it could be like in the first month or two of 2024, or at the latest, the Apple March event of 2024 too. Now, I've been saying this in my recent videos, but just a quick note here, with leaks being so early, and to be honest, any leaks that come up for the new iPad's release date that I find and show to you guys, a lot of previous leaks of other Apple products have come true, but there are some that can sometimes get misinterpreted based on the facts that leakers have been told. So I can only present to you what I've been told and can show. So no leak or rumor is 100% true until we see the final iPad being officially shown from Apple. However, if you are like me, you are still watching this video and then you're as curious as I am knowing what the next generation iPad is going to be like, no matter what the leaks and rumours are going to be telling us. So then guys, just quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And you can check out the video on my channel to see who won those prizes. But we're doing another giveaway now, and this giveaway is gonna be happening around a sort of mid-June time, some point after WWDC. And at this giveaway this time, guys, I'm gonna be giving away three prizes. The first two prizes are runner-up prizes, and that are some AirPods 2, and also I'm gonna be giving away some 
AirPods free as well. What's absolutely amazing. Then the main prize I'm going to be giving away to one lucky subscriber is one of these. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max in the silver white color. And I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do to enter in is basically put your opinion in the comment below of the report of this video or tell me what Apple technology gear you're planning to buy or hopeful to get in 2023. As I already said, guys, the giveaway is happening in June time. So if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when that giveaway is happening in June time. So make sure you do that right now. Now, something else I just want to quickly say, there are lots of imposters out there, a lot of them faking to be me, telling you that you've won yourself like an iPhone or another prize. And basically, these people are telling you to part with some of your money to pay for shipping. This is not me at all. If you get a WhatsApp or Telegram or be told to send one of these messages, make sure you do not do it. This giveaway that I am doing is an international giveaway and I'll be paying for the postage, taxes and all of that. So if you do get a message to say that you've won an iPhone, for example, example and basically you need to pay for the shipping please do report it here on YouTube all you have to do is click on the comments and basically click report and YouTube will do the rest just make sure you do not part with any of your money to these scammers out there so to summarize again all you need to do is comment on as many videos that I create out there to enter in and also at the same time make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be in the chance to win one of these free prizes is. And with that guys, it's back to the video. With those leaks and release date out of the way, let's move on to a summary of everything we know so far that previous leaks have painted the picture of the details of the new iPad 11th gen with its price as well. So the next generation iPad, the 11th gen or the 2023 or 2024 iPad, we've been told that probably we're not going to see many changes at all. Remember with the 10th generation, we had the biggest design change there. So not really much is going to change going Going forwards the main sort of things is probably going to be chipset but i'll get on to that but the main sort of specs we're going to see is that we're still going to be getting a 10.9 inch lcd liquid retina display and that resolution will be coming in at 1640 by 2360 what will be a 60 hertz display we'll have a choice again between a 64 gigabytes or 256 gigabyte storage options and then the biggest change will be that a15 bionic chipset inside this iPad 11th gen and you'll also get 5G connectivity too. There's also going to be 6 gigabytes of RAM which is going to be a nice bump up in RAM for this iPad and then of course the body will be made out of aluminum or aluminium if you're here from the UK like me and then also at the same time we'll still have that touch IB button on the top what's also the standby button. We'll also get that single camera 12 megapixel on the rear and then we'll also get a 12 megapixel center stage camera on the landscape side. The battery size is also going to stay the same at 7,606 milliamps and the prices are probably going to stay the same too with the 64 gigabyte option costing 449 US dollars and the 256 gigabyte option costing 599 US dollars. So that is a summary of the iPad 11th gen. However, for my thoughts and wishes, my wishes for the iPad 11th gen is to do with the price. Essentially, the normal iPad is the budget iPad and always has a chipset from say two or three years ago. The biggest disappointment with the 10th gen iPad over the 9th gen was its massive price increase of $130 more, at least in the USA. I understand that prices are going to go up around the world right now, but for the price to go up by around about 35%, from one generation to the next on the basic model was absolutely crazy from Apple and it was more sensible for say a 10 to 15 percent increase what should have happened. I'm hoping for the next iPad that the price will come down to say 375 or to $400 at a push for the next generation. But let me know on your thoughts on this if you agree with this and also write down in the comments below of what your wishes would be for the next generation iPad. Well guys on that note too it's all also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure you press the like button at the same time if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you hit the subscribe button followed by that notification bell until next time guys i will see you soon bye bye